time out on Oompa Lake today. I know on my last blog post I said that I might be going out on Quirk, but uh, things have to line up perfectly for me to get out on Quirk. That's almost a full day's paddle that I need to do, and I have to make sure that everything is lined up properly before I do that uh, paddle. And it just wasn't lined up properly today. They changed the forecast on me when I got up in the morning. They were calling for scattered showers and the wind was going to be a lot higher than they said it was yesterday. So, and besides that, my head was uh, telling me that we have a big change in weather coming and we do tonight. This is another hot and humid day today, but that's all going to come to an end tonight. The high today, 27 degrees, humid. The high tomorrow, 17 degrees. So that will be quite a contrast to what we have today. And although I love those temperatures, 17 is just perfect for me in sunshine. Uh, after today, it's going to seem quite cool because, I mean, I'm sure the <laughs> people are going to be saying, oh my God, it's so cold out today. Because it's, it's not necessarily that uh, the 17 degrees is cold. It's just that the difference between today and tomorrow is going to be very noticeable. So, you know, that's the way it is. But I really look forward to those cool sunny days of fall. This hot stuff is just taking the, the energy right out of me. I think this camera is still um, going quiet after I take a, a, a still shot during the video. I'm going to see right now. I'm going to take a still shot here. But as usual, you know, it's a beautiful place to come to. I, I like Oompa Lake. Uh, <clears throat> my son will be coming up um, the, the, the first week, at the end of the first, the first week in October for Thanksgiving. And I suggested that we come out here and paddle on uh, Oompa Lake. I think they'd really enjoy it. And I think it'd be a great place for me to get some pictures of them while they're here. I always enjoy having my family up to visit. There were some technical issues this year with uh, organizing, but uh, you know, it's all going to work out in the end. My brother's coming right on the heels of my uh, son's visit, almost overlapping, but uh, you know, it's, I, I just, I want to, I want to see them both, you know, and I, it's uh, sometimes a bit uh, difficult for me to arrange things so that everybody's happy, but uh, I think it'll work out okay. Yep. I'm just going to paddle around uh, the three lakes in the Oompa chain here today just to get out on the water. It's like I said, it's hot and humid, so uh, it's not a day that I do any hiking. I didn't even know I was coming here. I mean, I put the kayak in the truck last night because I thought I might get a chance to go out on Quirk. That's why the kayak was in the truck. And then when I went over to Proden's Pond today to um, have my coffee and banana, I, it just popped in my mind, why don't I go up to Oompa and paddle there? I've already got the kayak in the truck. So, and you can see now that I'm blowing in the wind here, and this is just a small lake. If the, I, can bet, I can bet that uh, out on Quirk Lake that there are some waves coming up with this breeze. That's why I didn't go, one of the reasons anyways. Mm, yeah, but it should be pretty quiet in here today. Uh, I noticed that same person that's been there all summer, right at the first part of the lake there. The white canoe is there and I heard him in there with a chainsaw. That guy has been in that site. That's a Crown Land site. He's been in there all summer. And that's what I don't like. These people that uh, claim the sites as their own, they're only supposed to take, uh, use them for 21 days. And I put a suggestion into the MNR this year because I'm just tired of it. I put a suggestion into the MNR that they change the 21 days that, that's currently uh, for staying in Crown Land sites 
make it uh, 21 occupied days not just 21 days but you have to be there at the trailer for those 21 days because what people do is they come up early in the spring all the trailers like a convoy and they park those trailers rolling cottages I call them on all the really nice crown land sites and they leave them there all summer long they might come up maybe one week or one, a couple of weekends but most of the time I go by them they're always empty just sitting there taking up that spot someone else could be using personally I, I don't use those sites all that much myself but I just hate seeing people being greedy like that greed just drives me nuts and I know that probably I can't change anything but uh, Humanity is going to do itself in one day, and there's nothing I can do about it. But anyways, I was uh, contacting the MNR about something else, about a, a road that was closed, and um, I found out a lot about that road, and they didn't have any good reason for closing it. He tried to make up reasons, oh, this and that, wildlife, and I, there they weren't worried about a damn thing. The reason that road is closed is because the logging company wanted it closed so they could drive their logging trucks without anybody bothering them in there. <laughs> you think cars and passenger vehicles are going to do more, more damage than a logging truck fully loaded? Well, I think I am stupid. These guys are just a bunch of bums that run our country. You know, even Justin Trudeau now. You know, I, I thought it was great that he... Uh, He's legalizing uh, pot, but the way he did it now is just making me sick because he downloaded all the big heavy lifting for this uh, legalization to the to the provinces, and all the provinces are coming up with their stupid plans. You know, it's just so ridiculous. They're all still so afraid of this plant. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking idiots! That's all I can say. They are a bunch of morons. And that's one of the reasons that humanity hasn't got a hope in hell, too. Anyways, long video. Let's continue.